I'm back. Situation normal. Tired. <laughs> Seems to be the story of my life. <laughs> um, all my travelling went smoothly. Um, and I've been back for about an hour and a half and well, I had lunch on the train but just been doing a bit of pottering around and trying to figure out what I'm going to eat the next few days to a shop um, and also turned my boiler back on. The flat is quite cold um, but I spoke to the letting agency and they spoke to the engineers who said it's probably fine. Um, the latest in the boiler saga is that uh, they want to get the gutters checked. Hmm. I'm assuming that that is not the only thing that's going to get done. No water came in while I was away, so um, who knows? Oh, and yeah, I've got a little bit of work to do today and then I'm going to um, catch up on Pool Dark. Very important TV viewing. But yeah, I think I'm going to have a very early night tonight. You sleep for a long time on the boat, but it's very broken. It's so dismal. This is ten past nine. Okay, it's raining, but it's so dark compared to Shetland. Feels like autumn. Feels like winter. So I'm not looking at the camera. But anyway, just on my way home from knit night, so I will go. I had to stop at the Tesco and get a loaf of bread. Because Sainsbury's deliveries gave me an alternative for my loaf of bread, which was chocolate chip brioche buns. And uh, nice as that is, although they've got soy in them. Uh, I don't really think my scrambled eggs would work too well on those. So anyway, gonna go. The beekeeper's blanket is officially finished. I was quite excited, uh, sort of, when did I knit my last hexy puffs? I think it was on Tuesday night. And yesterday, so Wednesday, I was really excited because I had them all done. I had sewn on one row and I only had one row to sew on. And then I realised there was one short. So the very last Texty Puff that I made was this blue and purple one. And that's 280 of them. And hopefully I'll not need to make any more. Although potentially if one of them gets damaged, I might need to make a replacement. But yeah, we're pretty much up to the edge of the sofa at both ends. I potentially could fit one more row, but it would be a bit of a squeeze. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. But anyway, time for breakfast. <laughs> I really have fallen off of the bandwagon with this vlogging business, haven't I? <laughs> Hopefully, well, you'll have had bits of scenery and stuff, but I haven't filmed very much since I got back. I've just been kind of busy, kind of tired, kind of not inspired. And I suppose I didn't film an awful lot in Shetland after the show either. Um, the two days after the show were just busy doing admin stuff and catching up on work. And yeah, didn't just... Well, I didn't have very much to say and very much peace to say it in, I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I tried to have a whole day at work yesterday and I got really tired in the afternoon, so I only really worked in the morning. Um, and I went to knit night last night, even though I was really tired as well. I was like, I don't even know if I've got any conversation for you, but actually it was, it was a nice night. Um, and today I have done some work in the morning, but I... <laughs> I had a really late shower, got up at 7, got out of my bed at 8 to take a photo of the Hexapuffs and did that little bit of video, I think, at that point. Um, but then I got back into bed and I just got tired again. Um, and so I have done some morning, some work this morning in my pyjamas, but uh, finally up and dressed now. Um, and I am going to go and try taking my dress to get altered again. Um, I did phone them up the shop and... Um, the woman who can do the measuring up is to be there this afternoon so that should all work out um but i'm a bit headachey and just 
really a bit woozy and I just kind of feel like I want to sleep so um, I'll kind of try and to go with that a bit. I kind of feel bad because I've probably got quite a lot on my to-do list and the singer numbers for junior choir are not as high as I would like them to be but next week's gonna be seriously full-on so if taking a bit of rest now means that I get through that better then it's kind of got to be but yeah we'll see I might make a stitch mastery tutorial video today as well because I've not got anything to post next Tuesday for a Tuesday tip um, but yeah, I'm really pleased that I finished my beekeeper's quilt. That's really good. Um, and I think that's really all I'm going to aim to do for Stash Dash. Um, I think I'm going to just take crochet out. So I'm going to Inverness tomorrow to see my sister who is back in the UK now. Hooray! Um, I was tracking her flights all the way back from China. So it's been kind of fun. Um, although I haven't heard if she's got her luggage back at Heathrow yet, so hopefully that all works out okay. Um, but yeah, so going up to see her tomorrow night and staying for the weekend. So I think I'm just going to take some crochet squares and my cross stitch and not worry too much about achieving anything in particular. Although I'm still reading, working on reading um, Red Dust Road. Um, I read about half of it on the ferry to Shetland and then I haven't read any more since. Um, and I want to finish that before I go and see the adaptation in Sterling uh, next Friday. So uh, I keep looking. Oh, I hope that's... Oh, man. I watched back one of my videos, I think, from yesterday. No, Tuesday afternoon, this morning. And every time I turn to look at the window, I wonder if it's going to do it. Oh, it is. I realised in hindsight that the width the light reflecting from the window onto my glasses, the whole screen was um, uh, oh, what do you call that? Blowing out um, with the light. But I was just going to say, I keep looking over at my new plants. <laughs> new plants! Only a couple of herbs. Um, I'm just going to turn this to show you. So, a new big basil and all of my plants seem to have survived the indoor ones, so my succulent is still crazy. And then I got a new mint. And this little guy is alright, and so is that one. I definitely should have had a treat before I went. Oh, wait, I did. I had one of those naked bars. But apparently standing <laughs> still and upright and looking forward for 10 minutes or however long it took to get pinned in my dress. Uh, it was enough to make me need a cup of tea and some toast and chocolate spread and banana. I absolutely feel like I need to lie down. This is definitely a low spoons day. I was like, sorry granny, but I don't, I don't like beetroot. <laughs> oh, where's the crackers? Ooh, where's the crackers? Holly! <laughs> Amy, what is this? A babbling brook! <laughs> Wow. And a holly tree. It's Sunday. I'm at Dad's. Uh, beautiful day. We're going to have a barbecue. Dad and Stella are off picking up Granny from the tree. And um, Amy's in the shower, I think. Um, yeah. Nice day, but quite a lot of wasps going about, so I'm a bit <laughs> stressed. It's funny, I always think, oh, I wish I had a garden, I wish I had a garden, and actually, I don't really like sitting outside when there's wasps around. I just get, I'm tense all the time, so. Fun and games, but yeah, I've had a very chilled day yesterday. Um, 
I don't think I had very much footage at all. Um, it, me and Amy went for a walk, uh, just a short walk up and around, um, and then I baked a cake, which was a bit disastrous. It's a dairy-free, gluten-free cake mix, which it's okay, it's not the tastiest. Um, but I made some um, butter icing, but with olive spread, and then it all separated and it looks a bit gross, so it's not the most attractive cake in the world, but hey ho. Um, and then pretty much just did cross-stitch for the rest of the day. We had uh, takeaway curry and watched a few episodes of The Thick of It. We really couldn't find the film that none of us had seen that we all wanted to see, so um, yeah, and just generally had we had quite an early night actually. Um, I don't know whether the video will pick up that, probably not. There's an enormous bit of spider's web just like flying around in the garden. Um, but yeah, so we've just had a chilled morning today and oh, hello bee, please don't come and talk to me. Um, I'm not a flower. I don't smell nice, hopefully. <sighs> you see, this is the panic. <laughs> it's not good. Um, oh, what now? Go away. Thank you. Yeah, we've just had a chilled morning and... As I say, Granny's coming here and then I'm on the train at half past four, so... Back to long go. And I don't know how much filming I will end up doing next week. Um, I've got a really busy week so I might not even finish this but I suppose the end of August is pretty near so I could do the full month but we shall see. I haven't edited any videos since I went to Shetland. I think I did a couple on the first day. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see how my enthusiasm does. I might, this might just all get ditched. <laughs> Hopefully not, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with my crochet and maybe go and get my cross stitch and work on that a bit as well. Death of the college of the day. Look at the sheep in their well, so the one that he was going for, he did go down to bed. But he'd have been into all the rest of the day. Pear. It's Tuesday, it's training day. My breakfast smoothie, I had to use a few random things, so there's more frozen stuff. Uh, I didn't have any bananas, and uh, it's giving me brain freeze. <laughs> Great! But I need to leave in about 10 minutes, um, and it's going to be a long, busy day, so I probably will not film again. <laughs> I think this last two weeks are probably going to be like one video, but anyway. Yeah, I'll let